Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honor unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, and to the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say Shalom. Internet slash information kill switch. All right, and that's what Esau has. That's what this so-called white man is has in their control, has in their possession. An internet kill switch, all right, which is going to shut down all this information that is able to be accessed, is able to be seen right now. And thus, that's going to bring the family of the word because the main platform, the main social media platform that this truth is going out on is 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 YouTube. Okay, and Esau knows that. They're monitoring, monitoring, uh, monitoring the, uh, the, the, the internet traffic that goes on certain um, titles uh, on, on YouTube or on certain topics. So they know, you know, that if people are seeking and searching for this truth, all right, and when it gets too hectic, Esau is going to pull the kill switch. Thus, is going to bring the family of the word, all right? But by then, hey, it's going to be it's going to be crazy out here in the streets. And these people, you people out here, mainly you Israelites, are going to be looking for answers. You're going to be looking for answers in really all the wrong places. And the ones that had the answers are off the streets. The ones that had the answers are... All right, you scoff that, you talk shit about, okay? That you 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 basically um, you 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 fan the hand and act like you know that the, the men of the Lord didn't have the truth, okay? But you're gonna find out that they did have the truth, and the truth was being proclaimed, and you didn't hearken, and you you didn't take heed. Thus, you're gonna be um, you know left with the devices that you chose, okay? Because recently, of course, a day ago, it says Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram suffers worldwide outages. And those are three major social media platforms. All right. YouTube is another one. They didn't have an outage, but they have they have had outages before. All right. That resulted in, you know, you know, people not being able to even search videos, upload videos. That's coming. All right. Because this devil knows where the truth is at. This devil knows that, you know, if people are searching and seeking out this truth. All right, so I'm not even going to read all this article. I just read a little bit of it. If you, you know, if you up on the times and understand the times that we're living in and and are being circumspect, you you this is nothing new. This is this article is 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 you know it's it's really old news now. But if you have eyes to see, you understand the times that we're living in and understand that this devil Esau has a internet kill switch. Okay, where they're going to cut all of this off. All right. If this, I'm telling you, this truth begins to grow and grow and grow. They're going to put it into it. All right. They already started to um, put mis medical inf misinformation for anyone stating any kind of information regarding the uh, the the uh, the JAB. I'll say. Okay. So when this truth begins to come out and then this truth really begins to spread, it really is already worldwide. But it really begins to Jake put it like this: when Jake really begins to wake up. All right, in the masses, that's when they're going to pull that switch. It says Facebook and its Instagram and its Instagram and WhatsApp platforms are back online. Back online after a massive global outage plunged the services and the businesses and the people who rely on them in them into chaos for hours. All right, so people actually rely on these for business. All right, rely, rely on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp for the, for their livelihood. All right, but those. Three platforms, along with many other ones, TikTok, which is exposing Esau, of course, of course, um, YouTube. But people, hey, hey, people put stuff on truth on Facebook, okay, uh, um, and on Instagram. Those are you know platforms that are used that you know people post things about the truth. All right, posting about who we are as a nation, we're the Israelites, okay, who the so-called white man is, the the they bring out the um, the wickedness of Esau. Okay, these platforms it, it, it really exposing Esau, or they know that. So it, it's and it really it's a it's, it backfired on this devil because they put out these platforms to gain all this information that people willfully put on the internet, but at, at, at the same time it exposed this devil for all their wickedness and all the um the the, the their wicked history, the wicked portfolio that they that they have, and, and, and all their wickedness. All right, things that they never thought would 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 be exposed are being exposed. This devil Esau is being exposed uh, in, in the last days. Let me grab a scripture real quick because this devil has to be revealed. Everyone know, has to know who Esau Edom is. All right, this is Second Thessalonians chapter two. Now I'm gonna just straight to the point. Uh, verse eight, and then shall the wicked be revealed, and wicked is capitalized. That's talking about a spe specific people. 
all right? The wicked, so-called white man, Esau, Edom, all right? And their forefathers. They're, they're, they're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the Lord is destroying this devil with the spirit of his mouth, which are the prophets right now, all right? That are, that are proclaiming this truth and telling this devil Esau that they're going down and basically telling the world who this devil Esau really is. He's not white. He's not a, a, a Caucasian. He's an Edomite. He's red. OK, he's who he's who the Lord has indignation against forever. The Lord hates Esau. All right. And, and this devil doesn't want the world to know that fact. That's a fact. OK, um, it says Facebook said late Monday that the root of the cause of this outage was a faulty configuration change. And there is no evidence that the user's data was compromised as a result of their outage. The company apologized and said it's working to understand more about the cause, yada, yada, yada. Esau has control of all these, the, the, the internet, the, the satellites, all of this shit, all right, the servers. So it, it's not a coincidence, all right? They 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 did some type of update where, you know, uh, or more than likely a test, all right, because Twitter, all of these social media platforms are going to go down and not come back online. So all this information you got up in the cloud, you're never going to be able to uh, 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 retrieve it. All right. Hey, these these lessons, the deep these deep lessons put out by the apostles, the elders. All right, all the men that are you know truly and sincerely prophesying in the name of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. All these edifying lessons are going to be washed away. All right, and you just can't go. You just got you Jake think they can just open the Bible and teach themselves. No, it don't work like that. The Spirit got to be dealing with you. All right, and in that day, if the, if the, if that day if you ain't got it, you don't got it. Okay, because because like I said, the family of the word is coming. And and we're li when, to know we're living in the last days, and more evidence that we're living in the last days. Knowledge is being increased. Things that we never knew are are coming out. Wickedness about this devil Esau and their wicked history, all right, are coming out. They're, everything's coming to pass, all right. These prophecies are are coming to pass. This is Daniel chapter twelve and four and four. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro in knowledge shall be increased knowledge is being increased among our people all right not the knowledge of wickedness the knowledge of righteousness the knowledge of yahweh that's what's being increased amongst our people amongst the elect the elect is gaining that knowledge and wisdom of who we are our customs our traditions our high holy days okay and we're finding out who the other nations are mainly esau edom all right and, and we're able to you know pinpoint um certain people in or certain people or certain nations and prophecies and the prophecies that are coming to pass, okay? It's it's no, it's no, it's nothing shaky about the doctrine, all right? Everything we're saying is coming to pass. These are the end times, all right? And the scriptures say that your eyes shall see your teachers, and the teachers are out there. The teachers are starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the Akim that are out there pushing this burden, truth, and sincerity. Those are your teachers. Those are the ones that have the keys to the kingdom, have the keys to salvation, okay? And if you're not hearkening to the prophets, you're not you're not really diligent seeking the Lord. Hey, you're going to be left out there to your own device, to your to your own wicked devices. OK, you believe you trust in Babylon, you trust in the, the, the science. Hey, that's going to be your downfall. That's going to that's going to be the device that takes you down. OK, this is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. And thou and excuse me, and though the Lord give thee the bread of adversity. And water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers, and thy ears shall hear the word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right and right hand, and when ye turn to the left. So, you, you, hey, the, the time has come where your teachers are, are right before you, all right? The teachers are proclaiming this truth. The teachers of the true teachers of the Bible, the true teachers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are, 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 are telling you Israelites who you are, all right? Telling you telling you that you're not black, telling you that you're not Hispanic, you're not Native American, you're not uh, a, a Latino, that you're Israelites from your respective tribes, okay? Telling you the, uh, the name of the Lord and his son, telling you the, the righteous way that, righteous ways and customs that we're supposed to live by, all right? Rebuking our, our, our people and letting them know to tell them to get right because hey, it's, 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 it's trouble ahead. All right. Warning our people. All right. Your teachers or your teachers, the prophets are going to tell you these things. The apostles, the disciples. 
Okay, they're going to be warning our people. They're going to be telling our people. The teachers are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. All right? Because we're living in prophetic times, and this devil Esau, knowing these things, what do you think they're going to do? They're just going to sit back and let this shit happen? No, they're going to come down with great wrath. They're going to come down with persecution. They're going to come down with affliction, especially on those that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, especially on the prophets. This is Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this is part of that great wrath, coming against the truth, coming against the prophets, uh, persecuting the prophets, okay, slandering the prophets, all right? It's going to be a big slander campaign against the truth eventually, all right? And, and the thing about it is this is going to get so bad, they're going to have to cut the internet. They're going to have to cut YouTube, all right? There's not going to be no more YouTube, bit shoot. Nothing where uh, Odyssey, none of these, uh, um, none of these um, uh, other uh, uh, platforms. Esau about to cut everything. All right, see, so, oh, they cut YouTube. I can go to this alternative. There ain't going to be no alternative. Okay, your your your, your phone is your your cell phone is going to be nothing more than a cell phone until they cut the towers off. You're not going to be able to access internet on your phone eventually. All right, Esau, they they their technology is wicked and it's and it's flawed, but Hey, they're in the power seat right now, so they they have control over these things. Which you um, what a lot of people, excuse me, that that a lot of people um, rely on. All right, hey, Jay can't go a day without the cell phone. All right, they can't go to go an hour without missing an update. Eventually, your cell phone is going to be nothing more but a a a, a, a um a, a what did you call it a a, a paperweight. Okay, it's it's going to be useless. All right. Let me um let me grab this in uh the book of Ezekiel uh chapter three three and verse uh twenty six and it reads and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and thou shalt not and thou shalt not be to them a reprover for their rebellious house so in that time when the famine of the word has come all right you could see you could notice a brother on the street, all right? But the Lord is going to make the tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth where they're going to be dumb. It's going to be like they're dumb, all right, where, where you know, they're not going to be able to uh, uh, give you the advice that you're seeking for, all right? Uh, uh, tell you what the what the MOTB is, all right? The Lord is going to make the prophets dumb in that day because it says you're a rebellious house. You didn't hearken unto the words when they were available to you, so how, why now? Why, why should a man of the Lord that's been out there sacrificing and risking their life all right, um, you know, just give you the answers because you're in need, all right? Hey, all Jake should be in need right now because the famine of the word is coming, all right? Don't think that this truth, the internet is going to be here forever because it's not. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and uh, verse 26. And it reads, mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor, all right? Mischief and rumors, rumors of war, and there shall seek, and they shall seek a vision of, of the prophet, they're they're going to be looking for a uh, a prophet to give them, you know, to, to to prophesy unto them, to tell them the things that are to come, the things that you know how they can prepare and what they can do to get right. And the law shall perish from the priest and the council from the ancient. Okay, and the king shall mourn and the princes shall be clothed with desolation. And the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled, and I will do unto them after their way and according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know I am the Lord. All right. So the Lord is not going to have no pity on you, nor are the prophets. Okay. They're going to, people are going to be seeking a vision, seeking, uh, 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 in the, in, in, in this world, they're going to be seeking a positive vision. Like, oh, tell us everything's going to be all right. In the middle of the Lord, if you happen to come upon him and tour in Jacob's trouble or, or, you know, when shit goes down, they're not going to be dealing with you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you'll be lucky to find a man of the Lord on the street or somewhere. All right. The men of the Lord are going to be in a place. Uh, a, 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 a place, you know, uh, hiding, you know, waiting for those chariots, okay, seeking refuge, all right, men of the Lord ain't gonna be out here, uh, you know, fighting with you niggas in the street, no race riots and none of that stuff, all right, the men of the Lord, hey, we're, hey, the, 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 being out on the streets, that's, that's, the time to see us is to see us now, because when the sh shit hit the fan, hey, the, the true men of the Lord are gonna be tucked away somewhere, all right, safe, all right, uh, escaping the dangers, escaping the harm, I mean, you know, escaping harm. All right, this is the book of Amos chapter um, 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, 
nor of thirst, nor nor thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That hey, that's that's that famine is is damn near worse than a, a real famine of food. All right, not hearing the words of the Lord because hearing the words of the Lord is better than food. It's better than gold. All right, this wisdom because this wisdom is going to get you through these trying times. This wisdom is going to get you through Jacob's trouble. All right, this wisdom is going to make sure you have food. Because you're using wisdom, you're not lit, you're you're walking in the spirit, not in the flesh, all right. Because you have the words of everlasting life, you have the words of this truth, okay. But if you don't have these words, when the family of the word come, what are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna uh, uh, continue to believe in Babylon, all right. You're gonna continue to believe in the so-called white man because you got you you Israelites out there got to understand when the shit hit the fan in America, the so-called white man is gonna be gone. He's gonna turn his back on you. Your government officials, your mayors. They ain't not, not going to be fucking with y'all. You know, excuse my language. They're going to be, you know, somewhere in a bunker somewhere, high, uh, escaping the dangers where all this shit go down. Okay. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Hey, they're going to be finding, looking for the word everywhere. You know, can you break this down? Do you, do, you know, are you sure that the MOTB is the, you know, the, and they're going to be searching for the for the truth, all right? They're going to be searching for a, a, a peace of mind, and they're not going to find it in that day because two-thirds of our people don't hearken, don't listen, don't uh, truly want to understand the ways of the Lord, all right? The ways of his son, the way the ways of righteousness, okay? They, they want to stay here in America, all right? They want to, um, you know, they, they really don't think this is the truth. They don't think that we have the truth. They don't think that these words, that these prophecies are, are valuable, okay? But they're going to find out you know, soon how valuable these words and these prophecies are, because they're like, like the scripture says, they're going to be running to and fro any and everywhere to try to seek this word, try to seek this knowledge, to try to seek refuge, to try to look for answers and they're going to find it. So this Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram is just a prelude of things to come. It's more than likely some type of test run for what the uh, global elites plan on doing. When, when this truth is is really spreading rapidly and Jake is waking up and Jake is not calling themselves black no more. They're not calling themselves uh, Hispanic. They're calling themselves after their biblical nationalities, okay, who the most high intended them to be. That's when Esau is going to get scared. That's when, um, what is that, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 is going to be in effect where the righteous man shall stand in great boldness. And we're standing that hey, we're standing in great boldness. Hope, hopefully Lek is out there prophesying and labor and standing in great boldness right now. How much more when you got a thousand Israelites on a corner uh, uh, in front of a camp, okay? Hey, Esau going to shut that shit down. There ain't going to be no more live streams, all right? It ain't going to be for no more, no more live streams for you to, you know, tune in or two. Ain't no uh, uh, sit downs no more on, on, you know, Saturday when never brothers do them, all right? Because this, this shit going to be shut down, all right? So Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Until next time, I say Shalom.